Everyone knows how today's world is full of anxiety and stress. Uh, Dr. Uma Nato writes in Prevention that one solution is what foods are that we eat. Nadup is a nutritional psychiatrist, and she writes that it's about our gut-brain connection and how the health of one directly affects the health of the other, and that the microbiome is a determinant of our anxious systems. The goal simply is to keep our gut healthy and to keep inflammation at bay. So, Sally, on Food Not Phones today, let's talk about what some of the foods are that Dr. Nato recommends. I absolutely love this list. Um, at the top of the list is prebiotic fiber. Fiber, sorry, excuse me. Um, and this is th these are are great um, additions to your diet. Um, some of those foods can include aspar asparagus, garlic, onions, leafy greens, artichokes, mushrooms, which we know that we're experiencing a huge trend in mushrooms, adding mushrooms to so many things, and apples as well. Um, we're also hearing about berries, and we've been hearing about berries for a really long time and all of the wonderful benefits in raspberries and strawberries and blackberries and blueberries. So adding those fruits to your diet um, can, can uh, potentially help with anxiety. Another one that we've been hearing about for a while, omega-3 fatty acids. Um, I don't know if you like to eat sardines or if that many people do out there. I personally love sardines, but if you don't like sardines, that's okay because salmon is also on the list and anchovies, tuna, mackerel, um, and also you're going to get it from your nuts and seeds, walnuts, almonds, chia seeds, uh, those kinds. And then we're also looking at spices. Spices are an important part of helping us with our mental wellness, uh, cinnamon, ginger, rosemary, uh, turmeric can be a great one. And then last on the list, we're looking at fermented foods, which we have also been hearing a great deal of research about in the last last several years about how we can get so many benefits um, from fermented foods. Uh, one of my favorites is kimchi. I don't know if you like kimchi, Phil. I love kimchi. Love it. I didn't, <clears throat> I didn't ever have it until I had actually gone to China. And uh, became addicted to it. <clears throat> and to this day, some 30 years later, I always have a jar of kimchi in my refrigerator. Love it. Same. So just a reminder, you can always join in on our newest initiative, Food Not Phones, where we all commit to putting down our phones during mealtimes, especially on September 19th. Join us along with industry leaders like the FMI Foundation's Family Meals Movement, Acosta Group, Hy-Vee, Fresh Direct, that's it, and the Association of Retail and Consumer Professionals. Please check us out at foodnotphones.com. Be sure to visit supermarketguru.com for the latest marketing analysis issues and trends. And don't forget to join us back here next Monday at 2.30 p.m. Eastern for more.